Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of my Roborock Q5 Pro robot vacuum review. In the last episode, I went through the unboxing and setup of the Q5 Pro. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you watch that video first before watching this one. Here I'll show you the basic use of the Roborock Android app and how to connect it to your Google Home for easy voice commands. So let's get into it, shall we? Again, the Roborock app is totally optional but you'd be equally amazed by it and the sheer amount of features it offers. Especially if you have a complex floor plan, you can specify different jobs for different rooms, set different maps for different floor levels, add avoidance areas, virtual walls, automatic scheduling, and even manual piloting. The list goes on and on. And I found in my case, and I think many others, it's normally a set it and forget it kind of deal. So I'll briefly go through the basics of the Roborock app. We'll need to create a new account if you don't already have one. Enter your email address and press get code. And you'll be emailed a verification code which you'll have to enter before pressing next. You'll have to create a strong password to finish setting up your account. I'll usually disagree with opting into unnecessary signups. We'll now have to connect with the Q5 Pro and pair it to our account through Wi-Fi. Let's hit Add Device. Now using your phone, we have to scan the QR code that's on top of the robot. This will quickly identify the device for the app. It'll then ask us to reset the Wi-Fi into pairing mode. This is done by pressing and holding both Spot Clean and Home button for 3 seconds. Resetting Wi-Fi. I'll allow location permissions since I've found many devices that use Wi-Fi don't function as well without this setting. So now we need to specify the Wi-Fi network the Roborock will be connecting to. I always suggest setting up a separate guest network for all your smart devices. This will prevent any congestion or potential snooping on your main network. Wi -Fi connection failed. So I did run into an issue connecting with my Wi-Fi password. I eventually figured out that my Android keyboard will automatically capitalize the first letter of my password, which obviously is case sensitive. I worked around this by typing out the password after the first letter then going back and removing it. Once Wi-Fi is set up, the app will have you go through this quick wizard to adjust some common settings. All of which can be changed later in the app. You'll notice all the helpful splash screens that explain each function, so really I don't have to say much here, but kudos to Roborock for making the whole process user-friendly. As you can see, the main screen of the app shows the previous floor mapping automatically saved on board the Q5, and the cleaning route it took, which really looks so cool. Of course, the cleaning session was incomplete at the time, so I definitely want to start all over properly. We'll go ahead and tap the review message. We'll want to hit that delete button to remove that incomplete map. Now that it's gone, we'll now hit the quick mapping button to start the process. This will have the Q5 go and explore your space and all its boundaries. It'll relatively be fast since the robot is not actually cleaning, but using the LiDAR system to map an entire virtual floor plan to its memory. Starting mapping.
It's pretty cool to watch it live on the app, seeing its route and everything that the Q5 senses while it's moving. Starting a normal cleanup routine will also create a complete map of your space. However, the quick mapping mode will allow you to spot potential hazards which can be easily addressed before actual cleaning. Like labeling rooms, zones, avoidance zones or no-go zones, and virtual walls. It's especially helpful if your layout ever changes, such as moving large furniture around. So returning to the dock, there's actually some AI that processes the map and automatically suggests rooms and avoidance areas it picks up, which can be reviewed. Of course, we can spend a good amount of time adding or modifying areas manually as well. Now one of the most useful features of the app is that we can set virtual walls or no-go zones. This is to prevent the Q5 from going into places we don't want it to go. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to upgrade since the original Mi robot didn't have this feature at all. Instead they had us place magnetic strips on areas of the floor the robot shouldn't cross. So now that I can add them virtually makes it a whole lot easier. The bottom half of the main screen directs how and which modes the Q5 should clean. A full complete clean by separate rooms, or by specific zones. The actual granularity of how much you can do with the Roborock is nothing short of amazing. Guys, there are tons of cool features and settings that will probably take too long to get into in this video. And honestly, I'm not kidding when I say that. Like automatic scheduling, room editing, object placements, multi-floor mapping, guidance control, and many other features, a lot of which are relatively straightforward in the Roborock app. Again, the majority will probably glaze over these extra features unless their floor plan is as complex. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you, which not many people touch upon, is the Roborock smart home integration. If you have Google Home Assistant or Alexa, the Q5 can easily be activated by voice command. Hey, start cleaning. Starting to clean. In fact, I've used this feature many times on my first generation robot. I think a lot of you will have fun just shouting out commands. To set this up, open your Google Home app. Tap Devices. Tap the Add button. Choose Works with Google Home. Search for Roborock. Now we need to authorize our Roborock app with Google Home. Tap Login with Email. Use the same login details you registered your Roborock account with. You should now see your Q5 Pro as a device. Select it and hit Add to Room. Now choose the room that your charging dock resides in. Tap Done and go back to your Devices tab. You'll now see the Q5 Pro under the room that you specified and its current status. I'd suggest changing the name to something simple like the Q5 to refer to. You're pretty much now set up. You can tap the button to have it start and stop cleaning, stop cleaning. or just use voice commands. Hey. 
Return the Q5 to the dock. Returning to dock. It's that easy. So guys, this review is not sponsored by anyone, nor does Roborock know that I'm reviewing their product. I bought the Q5 Pro with my own money, and I will always give you guys my honest opinions. For me, the issues I've discovered with the Q5 Pro are really quite minimal. Obviously, the mopping feature on this model should have been left out entirely, since there's no smart mechanics to it, other than dragging a wet cloth on the floor. And speaking of which, I think Roborock should have included a spare cloth for customers to switch out at least. Another tiny gripe I have is the power cord plug position on the charging dock. I would have liked it to be more adjustable to accommodate the outlet position. Now for performance and value, it's outstanding, which is no surprise when it comes to Roborock's history in this space. There's a plethora of videos out there that can demonstrate its cleaning abilities on and off the carpet. Roborock has consistently been at the top, and I consider them one of the true pioneers of smart home vacuum tech in the industry. And I'm speaking from personal experience using their first generation robot since nearly a decade ago. The Roborock Q5 Pro obviously gets my stamp of approval. If you liked this video, hit that like button, comment below, and if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to this humble YouTube channel as it helps me create more content like this for you guys. Alright, cheers!